Okay, so I realized I made a mistake in the PYP question, uh, which is 21, 22, SEM 2, I think. Yeah, the mistake was here in question B part 3. So is the circuit a resonance frequency? They told us that the, the condition for resonance frequency would be this. So the magnitude for the impedance of the total L must be equal to the magnitude of the total impedance for the capacitance. So yes, this is still true. What I wrote here is still true. The mistake that I that I made was how I calculated the this one. So the impedance of the capacitors. So what I blindly did was this. Okay. Okay, notice that the capacitors are parallel, right? So this is C1, and this is C2. The mistake that I made was this. So I thought total, what I did was ZC1 plus ZC2, which is why I did like um, two times ZC1, because uh, the capacitance are the same, okay? The, the capacitance are the same, so I just added them together like this. But this is not true. Why? Because this is the formula for impedance in series, in series, not in parallel, right? So right now they're parallel. So what I should be doing is first find the total impedance in parallel, which is like this, 1 over Z. Okay, let's call this Zc parallel. Okay, because we're finding the total impedance of the capacitors in the parallel configuration. So, which is equal to 1 over Zc1 plus 1 over Zc2. Okay, so uh, impedance of capacitors, the formula is 1 over J omega C plus 1 over 1 over J omega C. Okay, both of them have the same capacitance. So I will just collectively call them as uh c so this para okay so reciprocal of reciprocal is just back to normal so which is just j omega c and then this the same thing j omega c i add them together i'll get uh 2 j omega c okay, i'm running out of space then you make Zc para the subject. Zc para is equal to 1 over 2j. Okay, now I'll just sub in the value. So omega is 100 pi that we got earlier. And then c is um, 20 microfarads. So 20 times 10 to the power negative 6. So this should be, I don't know. So let me just calculate this. 1 over 2 j times 100 pi times 20 microfarads. Okay, this should be negative. Negative 79.57 j, okay? So what we're supposed to do here is check whether the magnitude of this will match the magnitude of the inductor's impedance, this. So let's extract the magnitude first. So if I want to take this magnitude, 79.57 j meaning i just drop the negative extract the coefficient and that should be 79.57 so ask yourself is this equal to this the answer is no so since they don't match okay so now we say since uh j omega l total is not equal to 1 over j omega c total. Or in other words, okay, in other words, you can say z of l total. Okay, let's put or is not equal to z of c total. Then you say they are not, not at resonance. Okay, so. Again, I'm going to recap the mistake that I made 
the previous video was that I just took ZC1 plus ZC2 and add them together. But this only applies in the series configuration, right? But now they're in parallel. So I had to use the parallel uh, impedance in parallel formula, which is this. Find the total impedance for the capacitors only, then take the magnitude and check if they match. 